what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel or if you guys have never seen my face before then welcome to my youtube channel it has been a minute since i've been on my youtube channel honestly like sitting in front of this camera right now feels a little strange to me but uh yeah and hopefully the lighting is gonna work with me today i'm working with my natural window light i don't have any of my lighting equipment out right now so kind of what we're going with, kind of what we're working with here. Basically, my name is Hannah Joy, and on this channel, I have done beauty, fashion, lifestyle, I've done some vlogs, shop with me's, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe down below. And yeah, let's get right into this video. Basically, I'm just gonna be going through and showing you guys like my current everyday makeup products that I use and you know like the brushes and all that good stuff so let's get right in first thing that I'm going to be using is of course a primer I've already done like my skincare routine off camera but I'm going to go in with this primer by Lancome I have actually been really loving this primer this is my second bottle this year that I've used so that goes to show you that I really do like it um the LA base pro I will have everything named and linked down below. I'll do my best to link everything. But yeah, basically it just comes in a pump like this. It is a clear primer and it really helps like blur and all of that good stuff. I have my little mirror right here. So anyway, um, yeah, I, so I'm gonna be going through doing my makeup, showing you the products and kind of like talking to you guys as well, I guess kind of getting you updated on where I've been. Basically, I have just been home. Um, and I think my last video was in January, February. Uh, it's now middle of May. So the next product I'm gonna go in with is the Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier. Right now, I have not tanned in a minute, so I'm super pale. And the shade that I am in is 1CO Cameo. And this is more of like a sheer light coverage and it is a moisturizer. So you can use it in place of a moisturizer. You can use it as kind of like, you know, just a light foundation. And this does have SPF in it, which is why I've been loving it recently because it really gives me that sun protection as well as a little bit of coverage. I've been really liking the natural skin look. So I'm gonna go in with my full foundation brush by Bobbi Brown. I love this brush, it's amazing. But anyway, basically starting, I work a full-time job and I am a beauty advisor at a store. So um, I work there and my schedule is kind of all over the place. So basically I don't have like two designated days off and I just have like one day off here, one day off a couple days later and it's all very random. So it has been really hard for me to set a schedule to film my YouTube videos and get them up for you guys. So that is definitely been a struggle. But another thing is um, March 1st is when I kind of started going back to the gym, trying to be super healthy, lifestyle change basically. And for, I know a lot of people are, are doing the same thing. Um, coming out of a quarantine, it's kind of like, you wanna get back in the gym, get back to where you were like pre-quarantine days. Uh, so yeah, if any of you guys are the same way, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, March 1st was that day for me. It was a Monday. I woke up, I said it's a new day to a week. It's a new day to a month. This is when like I'm ready. I'm ready to start getting back into like my health routine to where I was before COVID started basically. So since then, that is what I've been investing a lot of my time meal prep going to the gym every day on top of having a full-time job that's what i've been investing my time in and it really sucks that it's taken away from my youtube channel and i'm so sorry like i had a subscriber message me the other day and she was like where have you where have you been like we miss you i was like i'm so sorry but uh hopefully i'm back 
I really hope so. I want to be able to continue to make videos for you guys, even if it's just something like this, sitting down, like chit-chatting and doing my makeup. I just think it's a lot of fun. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is the Laura Mercier. This is their new camouflage duo concealer. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I'm doing like a really bad job. I'm sorry. Um, that is what the packaging looks like. One side is a corrector, one side is a brightener. So I really like that. And basically, like, as you guys can see, that tinted moisturizer was very sheer. Uh, I'll come a little bit closer, but it definitely does give like hydration and moisturization to the skin as well as a little bit of coverage. Basically just evens out like the redness and, and um, skin perfections and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through with the concealer. I don't really need a lot because I haven't been breaking out recently, but I am going to go through and just do like a little areas. I always tend to get a little bit more red on this left cheek for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to go through and just kind of touch that up a little bit. This is like a cream concealer, which is one of the reasons that I really like it. And you just kind of dab it in with your finger. It's super easy. Um, do like a little bit right here. Maybe a little bit here too. So that's really the only areas that I need like the correcting concealer. I can go through and I'm gonna like brighten up like this area right here always tends to get a little bit dark on me. And then I like to put a little right there just to kind of like give me a little lift. And I'm gonna put it on the other side as well. And you don't really need a lot of this. So I'm just gonna go through Blend that in with my finger. And you can, keep, you can see it's just like really natural looking. And yeah, so you can always apply this all over if you want, you can apply it wherever. It's super easy. I like it because it's like, you can just stick it in your purse if we're on the go, you can do touch ups and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, that is the, um, base to my face and I'm going to go in again with the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and I'm just going to use like a smaller brush like this and kind of put a little bit of that product on and then I like to kind of set my eyes especially like underneath and then I am going to go ahead and set my lids as well for application of my shadow And then like right around my nose and my mouth, I can see that it gets like oily and stuff a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead, basically like my T-zone and set that with the translucent setting powder. So right now you can see like, I just feel like these products are amazing and they just kind of give you a flawless complexion. You know what I'm saying? So the, um, the next product I'm going in, you're gonna see this brand a lot. Uh, this is the brand that I work for. So I love, I genuinely love their products a lot. So I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier bronzer. 03 is the color and that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to take my bronzer brush. This is also the Laura Mercier bronzer brush. So I'm just going to go in and do like kind of a light dust because like I said, I'm very pale. So I don't want to go like overboard on the bronzer. Like I feel like I'm doing, I always, always do this. I'm like, Oh, I'll just use a little bit. And then I go ham on the bronzer, but it's okay. We like glowy skin, right? We love that. Okay. I'm just going to go in. <laughs> kind of dust that in there and, uh, yeah. Go around here a little bit. Basically, I just really like to have, especially like if you wear a mask and stuff all the day, all the day, all day. Uh, I really just like my forehead to be real like, you know, bronzed up there. I'm also gonna take that bronzing color and apply that as my eyeshadow. I love doing that for more of like an everyday, like super easy, like one product, two uses kind of thing. So, I'm just gonna very quickly go over my eyeshadow. But yeah, that is what I have been doing, just working a lot. And then when I get off work, I'll go to the gym and then meal prep and just stuff like that. 
So kind of boring, I know. <laughs> Nothing too like crazy and scandalous, but that's literally been my life. So like I said, I am gonna be trying to make more time to do my YouTube videos on a regular basis. And I really hope that it continues to work out. So see how like easy that is? And I feel like, you know, it still brings out the eye color, all of that good stuff, but I just find it's just so easy. And then I'm gonna take the other end of this brush and then just put it underneath my eyes as well. See, the lighting looks really good right now. Maybe if I just don't move. <laughs> okay. All right, so eyeshadow basically done. And then now is the point that I like to go in and do my eyebrows just because, I don't know. I like to get my eyebrows out of the way after this before I do my mascara, but you could obviously do your mascara first, but I'm gonna go in. I use the Laura Mercier Brow Powder Duo. I could not remember the name. Brow Powder Duo. You could tell I'm hitting the pan on the powder side, so I need to get a new one. Basically what I'm gonna do is I've been doing my brows a little bit differently since the last time that I have been on here. I have another product that I'm gonna show you in a little bit that I've been using and honestly so in love with but i still use this as an outline for the bottom and kind of like the arch of my eyebrow so i'm just gonna go through and do that really fast <laughs> my left eyebrow always gives me so many problems, it's like annoying. Okay. They look a little off right now, not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try and go in and fix that with my next product. Okay, so the next product that I'm gonna talk to you guys about, if you don't get anything from this video, but one thing, get this, okay? This will change your life. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. It's amazing. So far, so good anyway. I've used it probably, this is gonna be like maybe my seventh, tenth time using it, I don't know. And I've really been loving it. It just, I don't know, you guys will see. It gives a very natural brow look, very like, I'll just apply it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. That way I can just shut up. I'm going to bring my mirror a little bit closer. That way I can kind of really get in there and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with my corner right here. What is this? Is this a hair? It is. I think it's a lash actually. Okay. I'm going to start right here at the very edge and do little strokes upward upward strokes to kind of emulate like a brow like a hair brow hair <laughs> and you see why i like to have like that line right there because then that is kind of like staying in the lines basically coloring in the little hairs that way you don't go beyond that point So you can already see kind of, I'm gonna try and get real close. You can already see that it just looks very natural. You can make it like as feathery or as sparse as you want. I like to have a little bit more of a dramatic brow. Okay, so 
So right one is done. I just literally love the look of this. Amazing. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, do my left brow, cause she's a problem usually. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, do my left brow, and then I will be right back. And we're back. So that actually was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. She cooperated today. So yeah, basically this is an up close of the left one and the right one. So you guys gotta try out this product. It's only like 22 bucks and it is smudge proof. Now, when I did the class for this, cause we were doing like training on it, they said it was waterproof. However, it is not waterproof. Me and my friend tried it out and it is not waterproof, but it is smudge proof. So that's pretty darn good. Perfect for like pool days and stuff like that. So definitely check this one out. The color I'm using, by the way, is dark brown, but just go in and um, see what color works best for you, obviously. Next, I'm gonna go in and do my lashes. So I'm just gonna give them a quick curl and then I will show you guys the mascara that I've been using because it's a new mascara to me, but it isn't new like, I mean, it isn't like super new, but I've really, really been loving it and you guys will see why. Okay, mascara I have been using lately is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Hope I'm saying that right, but such a pretty bottle too. I love the little cap with the clear rose detail of it. I'll do one eye and I'll kind of compare the difference because keep in mind, my lashes are almost non-existent and I have like stick straight lashes. They're not very long at all. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like on me. Okay, this is the first coat. You can see that it lifts, it separates, and I just actually really like the look of it. Now I did get some right here, but I'm gonna fix that later with some liner. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye as well. And I'm gonna put a couple coats on here and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so this is after a couple coats on my lashes. This for some reason is, okay. But yeah, this is after a couple coats of that mascara. So I do really love it. Now I'm gonna go in. Oh, I also put it on the bottom of my lashes too. Now I'm gonna go in with the Grandiose Liner that goes with it. And this is also from Lancome. <clears throat> Same like really cute packaging, by the way. And then with this one, it is more of like a felt tip. So it's not like those individual brushes. Sometimes the individual brushes, like if you put it in wrong, it can like, you know make a part in the brushes. I don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, I, I like this too because it also has that curving effect if you want it to, which I do like to have that, especially when I'm going in like right in the corner. So basically I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna start at the very end and go to the middle. This kind of helps clean up like any mascara that you get on your top lid as well. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and start the corner and meet it to the middle. Just like that. Now, I'm going to create like a little wing, but you don't have to do this obviously. So I like to go in About like that so nothing too crazy but I do kind of just want to like lift the eye upward so I'm just gonna go real simple like that you can make it longer if you want and I'm just gonna do the other eye all right liner is done now I'm going to kind of finish off my eye look with the Bobbi Brown Luxe Eye Shadow Rich Sparkle. This is in the shade Moonstone and I'm just going to pop that in my inner corner. It is quite intense so you just need a little bit. All right, I 
look is done. So it's just a very natural, simple looking eye. And then I'm gonna go in and finish off with some blush. This is the Laura Mercier blush in Passion Fruit. It's more of like a pink toned blush, just like this. I've been between this one and the Bellini one, and this is the Bellini. It's so pretty. It's more of like a light peachy orange toned color. But I think today, I don't know, I just feel like it would look good with the Bellini, but I do think today I'm just gonna do the passion fruit. So I'm gonna take my blush brush from Bobbi Brown, and I just need a very little bit because it's very pigmented. And I'm gonna start right there and move up. See, oh, blush is probably one of my favorite products. I am obsessed with blush. So I never used to wear it because I have rosy cheeks in general, but what you don't realize is that blush actually helps with that, um, especially if you're covering it up anyway. You don't want it to look real flat and all one color. You want your face to have some dimension. So yes, get you some blush, girl. Kind of like to bring it up toward my eye just to really like snatch your face. Okay, I need to put the brush, the brush blush, the blush brush down before I get too crazy. So yes, this is a close up of the blush. This is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with my OG, my absolute favorite highlighter ever and that is the one by wet and wild so um it is the blossom glow highlighter and don't judge me but yeah so it doesn't even have a cap on it <laughs> i need to get a new one really bad they're only like four dollars i don't know why i haven't got a new one but um yeah this is what my highlighter looks like and i'm just gonna use like this highlighting brush this is the real technique uh brush by the way in 402 i don't think i said that earlier you guys, this highlighter is insane. Um, probably don't even need any more on that one, but yeah, as you guys can see, it just, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna go in and blend that out. And I go a little crazy on the highlight as well because I really do, especially like in the summer and spring, I love to be glowy. I really love to just like be glowy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put some on my Cupid's bow as well. I can hear my dog growling at the mailman. At least I hope it's the mailman. Um, that kind of just kind of accentuates it. And then I'm gonna put some on my nose as well. Oh, sun, do not come out. Just stay there. Okay. So, all right. Highlight is done. Now I'm gonna go in and do some freckles because I have been obsessed with doing like the faux freckle look lately this is the pen that i have mentioned before in my misguided haul but uh this is the freckle appeal freckle pen by misguided beauty and it's definitely my favorite faux freckle maker that i've tried so far um i'm just gonna go real random i like to kind of press down on certain ones to make them a little bit bigger and then really like uh light on some to make them smaller like i'll show you like Okay, that's like a super small freckle that I put, but if I want them to be a little bit bigger, I'll press down harder. So then you can see that it's, this one is bigger than that one. Um, and then I just go real random. You don't wanna like have a pattern else it won't look real, like it'll look fake. Uh, once it's kind of set for a little bit, then I go in and do a little dab with my finger. 
and it really just helps like blend right into the skin. Just like that. Um, I am gonna go in and do a few more though because I want to. So those are the faux freckles. Now, mind you, people aren't gonna be like this close to your face to see every little single freckle. Uh, at least hopefully not. They're gonna be, you know, back away, especially, you know, code vibes, six feet, you know? So uh, people won't be able to see like, oh, there's, that's, that, that's a dot, like that's a freckle. Like that's not, she just did that. So um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Now, the last thing that I've been doing is a lip, like a natural lip, which by the way, I don't think I ever got. So let me go grab it out of my purse because I have like a liner gloss duo that I've been obsessed with lately. So let me go grab it really fast. All right, so this is the lip combo that I've been loving lately. The liner, both of the products are from Laura Mercier. The liner is called Naked and the gloss is called sparkly. And so I want to tell you that before I forgot, basically it's just super natural, glossy look, which I've been loving. So um, I'm gonna go in, line my lips. Now I don't overline my bottom lip at all. I basically just follow its natural shape, but with the top, especially like right where my Cupid's bow is, I like to accentuate that heart shape basically so i overline a little bit to give more of like a fuller lip effect too um, and then i just go ahead and follow the natural curve down here that way it doesn't look too crazy sorry if you can hear my dog's nails on the hardwood floor but um anyway so yeah basically i'll just show you guys So right in that area, that's the only thing that I overline on. And then I just follow it down. Okay. And now for the gloss. a little bit more just because I'm extra. This is the makeup look. It's a very natural, pretty simple, easy, everyday makeup look in my opinion. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. Let me know if there's any products that either you have or that you want to try from this video. Yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you to those who have stuck around with me during this time of not being on YouTube. I love you guys, I really appreciate you. And like I said, I wanna be on YouTube more often from here out. As always, I hope that you guys have a fabulous day and you will see me in my next video. Bye.